Today is my last day over here in Ireland. My Uber has arrived. Check these out, these are definitely more up my street. Loving the livery on this one. And I have no idea what this thing is. Millington hump in it. Astra GSI rally car. Few here today, the line is so long. Another Mark II, Scarlet, Mark III Escort. How you doing? Mark I Escort rally car. Check out the Micra rally car. Try and catch some sideways action. It's the car we saw them fit in the Millington and Zoo the other day. It's very practical, this car, you know? Thanks for everything. <sighs> Cheers. Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Marcus Hayes and today is my last day over here in Ireland. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go and check out the rally that's going on locally here in Inneskillen. So I need to meet up with Porig and there's a McDonald's just down the road. Breakfast time. My Uber has arrived. <laughs> you taking part in this rally then or what? Yeah, but I'm gonna win for the black. You're gonna win? <laughs> Alright, so we've made it to St. Angelo's Airport, which is an active airport, but today they're doing like a sprint rally thing. So it looks like the cars are in service at the moment and then they're going to change the layout. But yeah, I'm going to try and get over to the service area to get a closer look at the cars. cars lined up for the next stage some modern bits like these fiestas there's a group four mark ii through there super impreza another couple of modern fiestas i and i over there this area is all fenced off so i can't get super close but check these out these are definitely more up my street this one's really cool sitting on the five spoke revos funny a lot of the cars at the show yesterday all had the spotlights on the front now we're at a rally and hardly any of them have but i suppose they just put them on when they're doing night stages another mark ii escort rally car this one i am able to get a bit closer to another modern fiesta looks like it's been in the wars another really cool red Mark II here. Another modern Fiesta. Again, looks like it's been in the wars. More Mark II escorts in their pit areas. Oh, we know this car. I had a good look at this car when I was over here last year. It belongs to Colin. Loving the livery on this one. Another really cool livery Mark II rally car here. And I have no idea what this thing is. Looks like it's got a Millington hump in it anyway. Mitsubishi Evo. Another Mark II. Check out the Astra GSI rally car, parked next to another Mark II Escort. A few here today, the line is so long, goes back far. Nova rally car here. Pretty sure I've seen that at some point in this trip, but I can't remember where or when. Really cool Starlet. Another couple of Mark IIs. Another Mark II. Really wide arched Hyundai. Evo, another Mark II. This one's definitely been in the wars. Another cool Mark II partner for that. Check out the E30 <laughs> rally car. Another really cool Mark II. Another really cool Mark II. Another couple of Mark IIs over here. Another Scarlet. Another couple of Mark IIs here. Mark VI. Look how wide them arches are. Mark III Escort. Marcus, please. How you doing? Alright. You alright? Another Nova Vauxhall Corsa rally car. Another Mark II. Mark I Escort rally car. First one I've seen. Obviously, Bubble Arch. Another Vauxhall Nova rally car, Honda Civic. Still some at the side in their pit areas. Fiesta, another Civic, Vauxhall Nova, and another Vauxhall Corsa. Check out the Micra rally car. 
Vauxhall, Chevette, a couple more modern Fiestas here. Another modern Fiesta. These seal stands are so handy. Another Civic over here. There's another Civic over there, but loving the look of this Mark II. This is an awesome event. So glad I was able to come up to the service area and wave my camera at the cars as well. Missed this one a while ago. The lads are in there getting strapped up and ready. I'm going to be cheeky and try and get myself over there. Yeah, we're at the start, but they also come back down here. See if I can get a view from a decent corner. Everything seems to have stopped. There was a helicopter that came in and landed at this airport, so I don't know if it's anything to do with that. There it goes. Hopefully they'll crack on with a rally now. Just chatting to one of the lads I was chatting to the other day when we went to see one of the collections and he was saying that this might be a good spot. Try and catch some sideways action. time for us to make a move because I've got a boat to catch this evening. It's a seriously awesome event. So cool to see all the rally cars out in action. I could stay here all day if I had time. <laughs> 
It's the car we saw them fitting the Millington into the other day. Good to see they got it all back together. E30's in a bit of bother. We've got to cross the track here to get back to the car park, which is over there. So you have to see them flying past up close. That Millington in that blue Mark II sounds lovely. Just found another arched red Mark II Escort in the car park, sitting on gold mini lights. Really comfortable inside. Check out the red cowboy hat. Well, we've got another Mark II to look at in the car park. Belongs to this man here. Looks beautiful in Olympic blue on 15 inch gold mini lights. Sibbies on the front, rally arches, safety devices, roll cage in there. Very nice. In my favorite color as well. <laughs> Get a cheeky look at the heart of the beast. Larry Pinto Lump running on side drafts. Really cool powder coated black alloy rad. Nice oil breather can as well. Uh, really smart. What does it make? Uh, 170. 170. Plenty. <laughs> really tidy boot setup as well. Group 4 fabrications tank, a pair of facet fuel pumps, and battery relocated. That's a really nice mount for the battery as well. That group four fabrications as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, the comma's all aluminium, and I got the mold powder coated. Yeah, yeah. The tank as well. Yeah, no, it looks good having it all matching, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No caravan fiber. Doesn't belong. Okay, do you belong in these old cars? Okay. Save yourself some weight. It's like free power. <laughs> a better look at the interior. Really nice Sparco steering wheel. Loving the dash pod. All the switches. Really, really smart reclining bucket seats. All right, time for another little trip. Borings Rally Car. It's very practical, this car, you know? <laughs> very practical. <laughs> Got a suitcase in the boot, the other bags where the roll cage is. What more do you need? Check that out. Time for me to jump on a bus and get out of Ennis Killing. Borick, thanks for everything. I'll see you in August. Just like that, I'm in Belfast city centre. Got plenty of time before I need to get to the port to catch my boat. So I'm gonna grab something to eat and then jump in the cab and get to the terminal for the boat. And I'll catch back up with you when I'm in my cabin. So I made it into my cabin on my ferry and that brings us to the end of another epic day in Ireland and unfortunately that brings me to the end of my island trip. I'm already missing the place even though the boat hasn't left the port yet and I can't wait to come back over here in August for the summit run and show. I'm going to be plugging it all over my social media because I think it'd be really cool if I could get a few people to come over with me. You know, it'd be a right laugh going on a convoy up to Liverpool and then getting on the ferry together. When I get back from this trip, I'm going to be booking my ferry straight away. And yeah, I will let you all know all my social media, all the details of when I'm getting my ferry and what's happening and that. In fact, those posts will probably be on my social media before this video goes live. The rally day today was awesome. Porig is very lucky to have an event like that literally just down the road from where he lives. In fact, he used to rally his car competitively there about 10 years ago. Nowadays, he just uses his rally car as a bit of a toy to use on the road. I got to meet up with loads of people at the rally day today who watch my videos and they're all giving me praise, which I really, really appreciate. You know, that sort of stuff really does keep me going. And as I've always said, as long as people are enjoying the videos, I'll keep making them. It's always cool when you get young people who enjoy these old cars coming over and wanting to have a photo with me and that. You know, I'm always happy to do that. And I'm just grateful that so many of you guys of all different ages enjoy what I do here on YouTube. I even got to meet up with AD today, who is the guy that very kindly lent me his Mark II Escort rally car for last year's Summit Run. Yeah, that car is awesome. It's an ST170 powered Group 4 rally car that he likes to call Angus. He wasn't competing today because the car is actually having some brake 
make upgrades done at the moment. But yeah, I'm sure we'll be meeting up with AD and Angus at the Summit Run in August. I want to send a massive thanks out to everyone I've met during this island trip. Everyone in Ireland is so welcoming and friendly, you know, always up for a laugh. You know, it's going to take me a while to get used to some of the miserable people back home. But yeah, every time I go to Ireland, everyone's so friendly and welcoming. And I'm really, really grateful for all the hospitality. And as you guys in Ireland would say, I've had a great crack. <laughs> I want to send an extra special thanks to my friend Porig Murphy. He's not always on the best of form due to his Parkinson's. He never ever lets it get him down. He's a proper positive guy. And yeah, I can't wait to get back over here in August to meet up with him again and have another laugh involving the cars. Massive thanks to everyone who very kindly allowed me to film their cars and collections of cars on this trip. You know, all that is thanks to Porig. I've actually seen a lot more than I was actually able to film. So yeah, massive thanks to everyone for allowing me to check out your collections and stuff. I have seen some awesome stuff, some stuff that you know, you never get to see, you know, some real holy grail cars that are tucked away and yeah, it's been amazing. I literally can't remember everything I've seen. It's going to take me ages to edit all the videos from this trip, which you guys would have already seen on the channel by the time this one comes out. If you haven't gone back and checked out every video from this island trip, definitely do so because yeah, I've seen some awesome stuff and I'm really, really, really pleased that I was able to share some of it with you. Now, I'm going to go and get myself a bite to eat and then a ceremonial Guinness to mark my departure from Ireland. But if you thought this video was any good, please do give it a thumbs up and a share. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Click subscribe if you're new to keep up to date with all my future uploads and check the links in the description to my social media, my own website. I'll also leave a link to my Patreon down there for anyone who wants to jump on that. Massive, massive thanks to all my patrons. I really, really appreciate your support. I'll also leave my email address in the description as usual for anyone who wants to get in touch with me. But other than that, until next time, thanks for watching.